Hello, welcome to Reality Check with you one day. My name is you one day, Adikoya. I'm a mind maker all the time and a business coach. Um, I want to welcome you to this special edition. We always do Reality Check with you one day every week. And this one is particularly very touching because I had so many, today's session was a me, is a message, you know, sent, given to me to give to someone okay and for the past two three weeks we've been talking about fear and today i just want to tell you you know the topic of our of, of today's discussion it it is your time it is your time that's basically what i have it's your time and i don't know call it motivational call this inspirational but it is about time that you take up what it is that you have been afraid to do okay and i said enough is enough enough of is enough thinking that you have the time you have all the time in the world to do everything that you want to do you don't have all the time in the world you don't have all the time in the world i don't know why we get that kind of feeling especially in africa where i'm streaming from a lot of people you check out their age they're in their 30s they're in their 40s and they still think they have time well series of things that have happened in the last one year that made us know that you know there's no time you don't have the time that you think that you have okay and i said it is time to do what you are afraid to do time is money a lot of us are running after money but we have the time you can regain any money that is lost but you cannot regain any time that is lost there are some things that you should be able to do they say the, 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 the best time to plant a tree was 25 years ago. The next best time is today. There are so many things that you are supposed to do. Now, I've been sent to someone and I hope the person will watch this or replay it. There are so many things that you are supposed to do that have been burning in your heart, that has been given to you, that you are supposed to do, but you keep holding yourself back. Okay? And I say, if anything should happen to you right now, come outside your body what will be your regrets take a look at your family take a look at your business take a look at your life right now what are they take a look at the people that you think you are not taking the steps because of them take a look at that take a look at all the things that are holding you back the fear if anything should happen to you right now i'm not saying the person will die maybe for example the person is bedridden for so long and cannot do anything what are the regrets that you will have so i am here to tell you that you need to begin to wake up that burning desire some of us had desires before and some of them some of us still have and then maybe you can't even sleep at night because of the desires but you don't do anything about it you you stop yourself in the tracks you don't go for it because you are afraid you know jesus came on this earth he had the purpose he was fulfilling his purpose every time anybody wants to say they say my purpose this is why i'm here he was talking about it he knew what he wanted he knew his purpose and at the age of 33 he had fulfilled his purpose how old are you that was jesus what are you here to do you know some people they say they you and they i'm not that kind of person i'll just stay in my own corner well right now People are staying in their houses and things are happening to them. So staying in your corner does not mean that you are out of trouble. Staying in your corner does not mean that that is what God wants you to do. You are here for a purpose. And I'm not talking about money. I'm not talking about not working for someone and, or working for yourself. There are some things that you have been sent to do. And I'm talking like this because like I said, I have a message for someone. There's something that you've been sent to do. Do you know the, the, the story of an, a rich man that was going away? And then he had three people that were working for him. And he gave one five talents. He gave one three, three let's say three dollars. And he gave one one dollars. And he told them to, you know, make use of it. And the one with five made use of it and, and doubled the money. The one with three made use of it and doubled the money. The one with one did not. He buried it and when the man came back, he gave him back his talent see we're like a lot of us are like that one talent guy 
we have been put something we have been put on this earth for a purpose and god put something inside of you there's this desire that he put inside of you there's something that he put inside of you this burning desire this strong thing strong feeling strong purpose that we're supposed to fulfill okay and some people just say oh um i cannot sing i i, I can sing but i don't want to sing i am shy i don't want to sing there's no money i don't want to sing uh blah, blah, blah. giving excuses and excuses and excuses and then you go back one day maybe you go back to your maker and then you say this is the talent that you have given me i'm bringing it back to you we shouldn't do that take a look around you what are the excuses that you're given for not fulfilling what you're supposed to fulfill for not doing what you want to do it's not an excuse excuses are just things that will make you not go there's always a solution there's always a solution to every problem some people's destinies are tied to yours but you're still holding back you're still you know making those excuses and staying in that position well i've come to tell you that it is time for you to move it's time for you to do that which you need to do so that you will not regret and then again you know we used to say in the next 30 years looking back what would be your regret you don't have to wait for 30 years anymore right now what are your regrets right now looking back at your life what are the things that you can put together that you can do as well the fact that you are alive right now means that you have a reason to be a better version of yourself to do what you're supposed to do please enough of the mediocre life enough of the com comfort zone enough of sitting down and you know playing that you are afraid and all that enough of that enough of that it is time for us you know to to take the bull by the horns and everyone is different i keep saying this everyone is different so yours is different what is that thing inside of you that is burning that you need to accomplish that is only you that is accomplished for me i have come to know that i was born for a time like this i was born to help bring people out of the poverty of mindset that's the first thing the mindset that i cannot that poverty of mindset poverty of body the sickness you know the way we live our lives and then the poverty of the uh, uh, of i'll say your pocket or your bank account to help people to pull through that's what i've been sent to do and that's why i'm doing this to encourage people to come out and i've been doing it i rewrote my own story in the last four years i started listening to thank god for for one of my bosses when i was in corporate world I was, for those that didn't know me i was in the corporate world i was working i was working and and it was like working for 14 15 years and then this boss of mine inside introducing us to reading and then I started reading and I read this book. I think Awaken the Giants in You by Tony Robbins. You can go and read that book as well. Okay. And there was one particular part that talked about, you know, standing at your graveside and writing your own memoir, writing your own, uh, what do they, what's that thing that they write when people die? That you should write your own. What do you want to be remembered for? What are the things that you have accomplished that you want to be remembered for? If I had gone four years ago, all they would have said that she was a banker, she was, she was a nice person, but now, no. So many people will say, she's this to me, she helped me this, she helped me move on my life, she helped me see my life, she helped me fulfill my purpose. Almost every day, people are calling, people are thanking me. Now, I've rewritten my story. That's my calling and that's where I'm going. I'm taking it to the global level. That's why I'm not holding back anymore. That there's someone out there. I might, I might not be called to every for everyone. But there are some people that need my help. And then you need to hear this. That it is time for you to do what it is that is holding you back. And so Yewandi has come to tell you that you should. it's time for you to start. You don't have time anymore. I mean you hear people right now. People die in their sleep. People die at young age. You don't grow old anymore. We're not praying that we'll die young, but whatever it is that you have accomplished, what accomplished, what would you have accomplished? And I'm not talking about money. I'm not talking about money. I'm talking about making your impact, adding value, leaving a legacy. What would you have said that you have come to achieve? 
so that's why i've come today this is short this is a message for some people that have been wasting time that have been saying they're afraid that have been giving excuses that they don't have money that have been giving all sorts of excuses for not going forward to 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 fulfill their purpose some people you already know you know what you're supposed to do if you don't know what you're supposed to do start reading books start read start start con you can contact me we can bring it out we can discover what you're supposed to do and then you still can convert It's the more you give value the more you get money don't get it all wrong don't run after the money and then the value is not given no you give value and that's why you are there to make the impact which is very very key so I, I i i welcome everyone that is joining me and i welcome everyone that is replaying this but i have been called today to give you this message that it is your time don't waste don't wait anymore you can't afford to wait anymore i mean it is your time to shine it is your time to just go ahead and do it one step at a time one step at a time if you never start you never know okay so it is your time to shine i said and i ended with you need to pursue happiness you know that happiness does not depend on money there's something that first of all is a state of the mind whether you have money or not you can decide to be happy then you have things that you want to do you can decide because you can say it's money that you want and then you get that one million dollars and you're still not happy because there's still some other things what are the values what are the things that you hold in high esteem those are the things that you should go for guys those are the things that you should go for i hope that you got value today because this is what has been given to me there is no time don't sit down and say that i have time you are wasting time some people's destinies are tied to yours you just need to say how can i go about it find out how you need to do it if you need to read if you need to get a coach please go ahead but it is not time for you to sit down and have a ham chair and just you know wait for the right moment the right moment will never come unless you hear expressly from god that you should wait but right now is a time things are happening guys a lot of things are happening and i'm not saying i'm talking about you taking your life into your destiny into your hands and following through with all that you want to do if you need any help go for it okay thank you so much for joining me happy new month everyone we still have you know a long time we've said we still have six months to accomplish so many things that we want to do and I hope and I pray that everything, every desire that you have will come to pass in Jesus. And thank you for joining me. If you have any contribution, please feel free to drop this, uh, drop it in the comment section. If you have any question, do the same thing or DM me. And if you think you need to share this with someone, please share with someone else so that they can know that there's no time anymore. There's no time to sit around making excuses. That it's time for us to start. It is time for us to do what we have to do, the purpose of which we have been called, okay, before it's too late. Thank you, everyone, for joining me. Have a wonderful week, everyone. Bye.